Alright. Woo! So now we should be entering the lobby. Okay. So this is the character select screen. Uh, you only have two characters to be able to select for starting off. This is actually the best time you guys have ever joined because there used to only be one starting character. Commando is basically just a very general shooter. That's literally all he is. Huntress is very agile. Uh, she has a lot of tools to dodge basically most things that the enemy will ever send at you. However, she is the squishiest, uh, squishiest person to play. I'm gonna you stick with are, Commando. You die in one hit, basically. I stick with Commando then, because I like to be someone who is going to be real aggressive when I play these games. Uh, yeah, I'll probably be Huntress then. Just so you know, uh, we're gonna be playing the easiest difficulty, so go ahead and select Drizzle, because I am not having you guys playing on any harder difficulty, because this game actually gets hard. And by the way, when you die, you're done. You're just dead. And either the only way, in multiplayer, the only way to revive is have an item that does it, which is a very rare item, or we get to the next stage. So, try not to die, okay? Okay, I'll try my best not to die. Speaking of death, I actually have something that I want to show everyone. Liquid oh, death. <laughs> Liquid death. Can water. The only water that acknowledges how dangerous water is. Also, you can just drink tap water. That's what I do. Liquid death. Murder your thirst. Fancy, fancy. Yeah, you get this guy from being the game, so it's not it's not that hard as long as somebody can beat the He looks final like boss. a robot Dracula. Uh Good luck, have fun, don't die, remember we're a team. I, I don't know what I'm doing! I'll try my best not to shoot you! What the, whoa, what? Friendly fire is don't worry about that. Friendly fire uh, this is really, This is a really bad idea, but screw it. Right. And this is the chest I was talking about that you generally open. So once we have 44 money, we can open it and get an item. Okay. And as long as the mod works, we'll all get the item. Whoa, 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 hey humans! Those aren't humans, but I don't give a shit! Fuck you! Yep, it works. Okay, we're perfect. Cool. <laughs> I, I jumped Woo! so high! We need some astronauts. I have the high ground, motherfucker! What the- Hello. What? Whoa! Hey, dude! What the fuck is this? Hey, dude. Oh, what are you? That was my ability. What are you? Did I just kill a Durgan? Alright, so this is the teleporter, by the way, and this is how we get onto the next stage. So, what happens is when we activate it, we summon the boss. If we kill the boss, we send the teleporter to the charges, afterwards we can go to the next stage. So, you wanna murder, murder? I wanna murder. Beetle Queen. Hey, bitch! Oh, 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 uh. oh You're dead. And she's gone. There's another one, uh, over here. What's up, lizard boy? Fuck you. And it's dead. Okay, yep, once we also kill the home for the boss, it will drop an item. So, oh, you've got real good items. This is like one that's hard to the game, so... Good stuff right here. And then we just go through the teleporter, and we'll move on to the next stage. Well, that was easy! <laughs> <laughs> By the way, the reason Liquid Death comes in a can is because most plastics just end up in cheap products that just get thrown in landfills anyway. Cans are better because aluminum is infinitely recyclable. So, you really should try it. It's actually really good water and it's better for the environment and also murder your thirst. You're not sponsored, shut up. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I know you want to be, but you're not. Ah, uh, we were just... Oh, ice! Okay, we have to go on the floor. Ice. 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 Please, never sing that song on your channel. I've already recorded, edited, and gotten ready to post a, no a video where I have made that meme. Please, just never say that again in the proximity of me. <laughs> no promises. Alright, I found the top corner. Do we take fall damage? Yes, there is fall damage. Okay, do not jump. I mean, you can. Well, one of the easiest difficulties of fall damage is that much. You, you can't die. Oh, hey there, dude. What in the oh, fuck are you? Go. You are one ugly motherfucker. I prefer if you'd stay away from me. It'd be much preferred. <laughs> this is so much chaos. So much you? Die, you motherfucker. I, I did you. absolutely nothing and I wasted I got that. you. I got you. Ooh, here we are in hell. 
Awesome. Raver, where you at? Alright, so you see this item I'm right next to? This is basically the item everyone raises in Risk Rain. A guitar. It's actually ukulele. Oh, it's my kind of thing then. Yeah, it's one of the best items in the game. So, whenever you see a ukulele, you want it. I just know how to play saxophone. I don't think string instruments would really be my thing. I think I know how to play ukulele, so. I hear it every so often. Wow, <laughs> oh, that was just rude. A magma worm. Oh boy! What oh, the oh. fucking. Jesus! Hey, dude! I feel like I'm having some deja vu right now. I feel like I've seen a character like this before in a different video game. Ah! Hey, Laugh, you know what it reminds me of? That, I, I forget what Super Mario Galaxy game it was, but it was one that was like a worm. Uh, there is Galaxy 2. It's the first boss fight against the uh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's exactly what it reminds me of. This is stage 5, which is the deciding stage whether you want to do a loop, which means you repeat the next 5 stages, or you go fight the final boss. So... We go to the final boss. Okay, so you want to go to the final boss? I want to go to the final boss. Why not? Let's do it. This tower works differently, alright? So don't have to track the video. So you see how, it's, how the walls are shaped? It's so if it's shaped like this, that means uh, when you activate, you're gonna go to the final boss. If I interact with the walls and move it like this, it means we'll repeat the next five stages, okay? Final boss! Final boss! So yeah, we'll, we'll go fight final boss. We'll go to the final boss. Oh, oh, oh! Oh jeez, it's Atlas! Tell GLaDOS I said, go fuck yourself. It really does look like one of the cores from Portero. Alright, let's do this. Uh, now we don't fight the final boss immediately, we have to basically get the opportunity to fight him, which means we have to... He's all the way at the top of the sky, basically. And we have to create the area that allows us to go to it. Which is basically, uh, and it's basically just find four pillars, and charge the pillars, and then you can go to fight him. I stand on top like the queen I am. You have the high ground, Anakin. Rocks, get on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> People Pillar! Ah! Alright, now uh, there should be something that spawns that allows us to go fight people. Follow me. Yep, right here, in fact. We're very close by it. So this activates, you go step on it, and we're gonna set all the way up. Whee! Oh, that's a black hole. Alright, you ready? The moment you step through, you can't come back out. I zoom in! Yeah! You guys learn the mechanics on your own. Oh, the soundtrack. Hey, dude. Ow! Okay, fuck that! Oh, hello. Here you go, hi. Oh, hi. Whoa! Hey there. We almost there, we almost there, we almost there. Somebody's targeting you. Don't matter. Hello. Never mind, maybe it does matter a little bit. There's that gotta be a third. Happen? There's gotta be a third. You mean that dude again? Oh, I understand, I understand. I'm learning, I'm learning, it's slow, but I'm learning. Oop. Well, I'm dead. No. I was never died, I got kicked off. <laughs> I went to negative health. Moon detonation, what the fuck? Go, okay, Roxy, you have to go through this portal quick. You have to make it back to the investigation. 
that we saw earlier that was protected by that force field. Oh, we got plenty of time then. Not necessarily. The only problem is I don't know if you still want the character if you died in the boss fight, but your teammates still won. I mean, we're about to find out. Yeah, make sure you're not in that explosion on the ground. Yeah, I found that out the hard way. Like I'm doing with a lot of the shit in this game. If you found out the hard way, you'd be dead. Turn it, you watch by the way. Yeah! Okay, you still get it. Guys, I saw you get it. Woo! Yeah, I got too cocky and got too close to the guy. <laughs> I remember the game may have seemed easy, but we were on the easiest difficulty, so... Yeah. The first time playing it, so... Yeah, and that's why I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have you guys go on higher, harder difficulties until you think you're ready. You know what that just reminded me of right there? That one thing from Super Smash Bros. Brawl. And so he left, with new orders and new questions. That's great, what's the next fucking line? That's it. Oh. It's a, it's a different line depending on what character you're playing, and if you died or not. <laughs> yes! 201 kills. You can see your teammate's stats, by the way, as well. Okay, uh... 233 for you. 238 for Chaos. I, I was somehow alive for one second long. Wait, did I get the most kills? Yeah, you got it the is, most it kills. Is, it is Huntress, so... You got the most Wait kills? You did? Bruh. But you dealt the least damage. To be fair, I, I was focusing on the big threats for you guys. <laughs> like, those are my, like, my name's Shelby. Almost half a little.